we use the left string function to return the left part of a character string with specified number of characters. Start by making a comment. We'll call this left function string function. Let's say we have a character value, which is a street address or part of a street address. Let's say it is 4756 Liverpool, Liverpool Street. And what we want to do is to retrieve part, uh, a portion of this address from the left. And what we're really interested in is the street number, in our case, 4756. We can use the string function to do that. And what we need to do is, so the syntax is we have left, and we have the character value, which is this. I'm just going to copy that, and I'll put that in quotes. OK. So to retrieve 4756 from the left, which is part of this string or this character value, all we need to do is we separate the character value with a comma. And then what we want is the first four characters. So because what we need is just 4756, all we need to then do is just write four and we close this. And then we have to write our select because all of our functions or our query start with the select statement. So what we're trying to do again is just to, from the left, we need to retrieve some values. The And it doesn't matter what value is there, but we need the first four characters within this value, within this, you know, within the string value. When we run this, we see that that retrieves 4756. Let's try another character word and um, let's say the character word will be animals and we want to retrieve the first five um, for the first five characters from the left. So we select left. Our word is animals. And we need the first five characters. Let's run this. So now we have anima one, two, three, four, five. So that's how we use the left function. Now let's use it with our table. Let's select our books table. Start from books. Okay. And what we want to do is to retrieve the first five characters of our title column. So we say select. And what will this do? We'll select title first. And then we want to retrieve the left of title. And we want the first five characters. Then from books. So what we're doing is that we first want to print out our title column, but also we want to print out another column, which is the first five characters of the title column. Let's run this. So we see here that you know title we have just mercy, and then we have the second column we have just city of girls, we have city be obsessed or be average and now this is what i also want you to pay attention to because now we have b e o b which you'd say that's for for characters but there is a space between b and obsessed so that space counts as one character so even though it's a space it does have a value and that value so it counted as a character so that's one two three four five what if we want to print out our author's first name, the author's last name, and we want a third column, which would be the first six characters of our author's first name. So we want something like this. 
So select, we have auto first name. We have auto last name. And then we want the, the left of our auto first name. But we only want the first six characters from books. All right, and let's call this as, let's say as nickname. Nickname. Execute. So we have our author's first name, the author's last name, and then the first six characters of our author's first name. What if we want to do something like this? So we have our title, and then after the title, we have dot, 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 dot. So first we have part of the title, and then dot, 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 dot. You might have sometimes noticed this either online when you're browsing through a list of something, and and it could be it could be books. So you see part of the name of those books, or part of the name of whatever that item is, and then you see dot 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 dot. So one important thing is to to notice that with string functions, you can use more than one type of string function within a query. So in this situation, we are using left to retrieve or to return part of the, the 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 name of the type the part of the title and then we're concatenating that with dot 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 let's take a look at how we do that All right so let's first print out our our title column so we'll go select title from books Right, so this is our title of 19 books. And then we want the, let's let's choose the first 10 characters of the title. So we'll select left and we want title, but we want the first 10 characters from books. All right. Now what we want to do is to concatenate this with dot 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 and all we need to do is now we're just gonna bring, drop this, bring this down. So we have select and then concat and we open our bracket. So we're concatenating all of this. So I'm just gonna copy that. And then the next value, we open our quotes and we just write dot, 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 maybe six dots, maybe. We close that and then we close this. Okay. Then we have, and we could, let's go from books first, from books, right? So just to go through this quickly, we are trying to, we add in, the left, this, what we have here, the our result here. And we want to add that one, concatenate that with dot, 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 dot. So all of this is, you can see all of this as one, you know, a, a column or one variable, right? We separate that with a comma. We then add the second string value that we want to concatenate, which is just dot, dot, dot. Let's make this five dots from books, okay? Let's run that. So now we have just mercy dot 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 city of girls dot 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 city of GI be obs oh, okay be obsessed you know what I'm saying dot 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 international dot 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 so that's pretty much all we need to do there and we could give this an alias we'll call this um, let's say we'll call it short title let's say yeah, let's call it so as short, we'll call it as short title okay, from books. Okay, so let's run this. So that's so now we have that as short title. 
we can also add more columns. So let's say we want to have the author's name, the, the first name and the last name. So we could uh, select auto first name. Auto last name. And then we can have all of this. Just copy that. Control C, Control V. So if we run this, now we have our author's names, the first name, the last name, and the short title of their books.